Hi folks, this is probably a very bad idea but I'm going to do it anyway. I've not had this shape for very long, it's nearly at 10m and I find I'm already doing silly things with it. But um, what I'm going to try and do is uh, machine a ferro rod, which is what I've got in the vise here. Um, it's about 6mm in diameter. Um, I've already had a few goes as you can see so I kind of know what we're in for. I got an old car carbide tool in the tool post, something that I'm never going to use anyway. And um, and we're taking about a millimetre's worth of cut on the top there. If you're not familiar with a ferro cerium rod, um, just sit tight. You'll soon see. So let's crank her up. There we go. It's quite impressive, isn't it? So annoyingly that was rather less impressive than the trial run I did. <laughs> and uh, I deliberately dialed up the speed and increased the depth of cut in, in, uh, in the hope of getting the best effect. But actually, when you look at this, it looks like it's machined it quite well, unfortunately. So uh, what I thought I'd do is just um, turn the speeds and feeds um, right down and see if I can um, capture some in this tin can here. Uh, I did try and, and uh, pick up some of the bits off the floor but it turns out it's not really magnetic and my magnet didn't pick it up. So let's have another go and uh, we'll just very very gently machine some off and then I'll show you what it does later. So I'll just advance it so we get a cut first of all. There we go. So this is going to take a while, I'll bring you back later. So it turns out this stuff's quite a handful. I've got um, a big char mark in the bottom of the can. I guess you can tell what happened there. Um, but it is actually machining beautifully. And there was no sign of any ignition so I thought I'd increase the speed a little bit and yeah it all went up so I'm just taking very 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 gentle cuts very slowly at the moment um, but it's leaving a beautiful finish which is nice so I'll let this carry on and uh, and see what I end up in the can Could have made it a lot quicker if I'd have adjusted the stroke actually, but too late now. Okay, so here's our rod. Um, good finish, as I say. The machine's a lot like cast iron which I guess, I don't know, there's no other additives other than a, the cerium, so uh, maybe maybe it's similar, I don't know. The chips, uh, let's have a look at these, are incredibly brittle, so you know, you've only just got to touch these and they just crumble away to powder, there's nothing of them. Um, but let's see what happens if we wave a blowtorch near it. Here goes. And it keeps on going.
Anyway, I think that's it. I think my uh, ferrocerium machining days are over. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you later. Bye.